So I've just done a little bit of work on just lining things up and making the colors a bit different. Now, if I go in here and I click form view, there's still something missing about it. It doesn't look that professional. So I'm going to go back here into design view and there's a few more things that I can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click and down here we have a form header. Now this isn't a page, this is a form. So we use a form header, not a page header. So I'm going to click on form header footer and it adds this little extra bit at the top and the bottom. And what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to add the title to my, uh, to my cars form. So I'm going to go to home. I obviously can't change the font, so click off it, click back on it. Choose a nice professional looking font. Um, so some good ones on here. I think we'll go with that. And I'm going to make it much bigger because obviously it's the title cars database. I think that lines up quite well with the bit underneath, but let's just take a look. So form view. I don't really like the dark background here. I don't think it looks that professional. So I think it makes more sense to have a dark color up here. And then we're going to lighten up this font. So home. So always try and choose colors that contrast against each other. Let's go with a very, very light blue. Down here, I'm going to right click, fill background color. Let's go with a really pale blue. I think it's going to look, no, in fact, let's go with a slightly different one. Yeah. Now things line up well. Um, I think maybe on here it's a little bit confusing because they're, they're all on different sides. So why don't we line those up a bit better? So I'm going to, I'm going to hold, I'm going to click the first one, then hold control. And see it selects all those boxes and I'm going to go to home and we're going to left align everything. Now, if we go in here, everything is left aligned and that looks far uh, nicer. Um, you can also see the way this says car underscore ID doesn't look that great. So we can actually go in, delete that. Tax doesn't have the colon. So why don't we add that in as well to make it more consistent? And that is looking far better than it did before. Um, there are a few other things that you can do up here. You've got different bits and pieces. Um, you can actually insert a button. So maybe the person that works in this garage wants a button to go to the next record and back, back a record. So we've got record navigation, go to previous record, next. And we can have a little picture. Instead of the text, we'll have a little picture going back, next. We don't need to worry about naming it, so finish. And let's also put a forward button in. Again, so go to next record, next. Again, we want the picture. You can see there's actually two pictures for this one, but we're going to stick for consistency to make it the same. We're going to stick with the same one. Next, finish. And both those buttons look like they're about the right size. I think I'll spread those out a little bit. And now I can scroll through. Why not have a play with these buttons and see what else you can include on there? Um, there's not much else on here that you need to use. The only thing you could use is this box, this rectangle here. You could just put a rectangle around there. And I then go to form view. You can see it just put that little etched line around it, which just makes it a little bit easier to see. But feel free to play around with anything on here. Just explore, see what is what. Some of them, it just, it doesn't make any sense to use like the chart and the graph drop down because it just, it, you've already got the drop down in there. But otherwise just have a little look and see what you can do.